This is the greatest day in the history of the guitar. Mark it down, 4118. My guitar is completely, perfectly in tune, and all the knobs are in complete straight alignment. This is the story of how I did it. You know, if you're like me, you like your guitar to look as good as it sounds. Getting it in tune, not so hard. Sounds good, but something's wrong. The tuners aren't straight. The tuning knobs are different angles. I don't bother, does that bother you? It bothers me. Something just isn't quite right about that. Martin Guitar, their tuning knobs can be straight. Look, I have a box of uh, Martin Guitar Polish and the picture of the guitar in this, look, all the tuning knobs are perfectly aligned. If you look at the Martin uh, Guitar page on the internet, every one of their guitars, you look, the, the tuners are perfectly in line. They're perfect, they look great. Why can't I do that? There must be a way to do, because it's just a matter of you have a certain length of string under a certain tension, it produces a certain tone. Started thinking about it and decided there must be an equation, a way to figure out mathematically, it's just physics. Okay, they're the obvious things, the scale length of the guitar, that's obvious, the gauge of the strings, we know that, even the composition of the strings is important, but that's, we'll get to that later. The saddle height, the bridge spacing, I took so many measurements and calculations, the saddle radius, an equation started to take shape. I changed strings endlessly and tuned my guitars endlessly. You know, I think I went through 1,212 sets of strings in one year, and I've been doing this for 12 years. <sighs> what could it be? What God was, I knew I was missing something. The temperature, the relative humidity, the barometric pressure, I mean, my God, the altitude. The way you wind it, for example, if you put the string through and then over and then under, it has a value, I found, of 0 0.0012. If you wind the string under and then over, it changes the value to 0 0.0032. A shout out to Brian Kimsey on this one who helped me with this. The um, Waverly's are 16 to 1, Rotomatics are 18 to 1, but some Waverly's are 18 to 1. So I'm years into this project. I'm about to admit failure. It just wasn't working. I knew I needed more data. I, I was having horrible trouble with the B string. The tuning knob on the B string, if they're all right, except that one is slightly off. Why is it always the B string? Is it the calculation? Did I measure wrong? I need new strings. The amplitude of the actual vibrating string physically, where to put that into the equation, I finally came up with it. An elegant solution. So here it is, I'm gonna show you this in one take with no video editing so you can see that this is real. This is a headstock you can be proud of. This is so beautiful. Every tuner completely, perfectly lined up, straight as can be, 100% straight, and we'll see if it's in tune. Here's the E string. You can follow along with your tuner if you want. E. A. D. G. B. And finally E. You can see the tuners are all completely straight and now I'll play an E chord. Listen to this. and a D chord, just, just stunning. Perfectly aligned. Now, 
this doesn't work in dadgad tuning and it won't it only works on certain phases of the moon if you want to do it in the full moon that's a that involves some really advanced trigonometry and i'm working on that one so i'll report back later but so far good success and now i'll play an e chord listen to this mm -hmm. 